welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brittany. I would love if you consider subscribing to my channel, joining my YouTube family over here. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like um, grocery hauls. This is specifically a Walmart haul. So if you want to see what I picked up from Walmart today for our family of three, um, it's me, my husband, and my daughter. Um, we do have a daughter on the way, but obviously she's not here yet. So um, this is a very realistic grocery haul. This is not all super healthy, but there's a ton of um, dinner ideas that I'll show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see what I got from Walmart today for my grocery haul, then let's just keep on watching. grocery haul videos so I will go ahead and grab that so first off I have Honeycrisp apples I love this bag I always get this bag I don't know why but it's probably a lot cheaper if I would just grab apples but since I'm doing Walmart pickup um, I don't know I just like this and it's enough for us they never go old um, because Hayden loves apples so this is what we got Honeycrisp apple. Next thing I got were these um, two containers of strawberries. We love strawberries. I've been obsessed with fruit. That's been my craving um, this last trimester of pregnancy. I've been wanting all the fruit. Um, so typically when I get groceries, I will cut all the fruit up and have it all in the fridge so that we can snack on it. Me and Hayden love fruit. So we snack on it, you know, throughout the day, after dinner for like a dessert. We love fruit. So Always pick up some strawberries. And then I have been obsessed with bananas. I've never really been a banana person, but all of a sudden, like I have a banana with like everything now, like my cereal in the morning or a bagel in the morning or a snack with peanut butter. Like, I don't know, I just love bananas. So I picked up this bunch of bananas. I also picked up a pineapple from Walmart. Um, <laughs> I usually, I used to just buy like the pre-cut pineapple, but I know that's just so much more expensive. So I do this and I do cut it up myself and I've gotten pretty good at it and they always taste super good. So um, love me some pineapple. I also picked up some tomatoes, just two tomatoes because we like to have tacos. Um, so, and we always love to put, put tomatoes on top of our tacos. So I might make tacos tonight or maybe chicken quesadillas. I'm not sure yet, I haven't decided, but I just got two of them. Um, I used to get like a bunch of them and then realized that I always had to throw some away at the end because we would just not use them. So just picked up two. These are the Roma tomatoes. I also picked up some yellow onions. Um, this onion in the middle is ginormous. I was like picking it up out of my car or out of my uh, car to come in here and I was like, oh my gosh, it's huge. Um, but yeah, so I just picked up some of these because I ran out. I like to um, kind of take like majority of these and cut them all up and then put them in a bag and put them in the freezer so that I already have diced onions for everything because almost every recipe you use, you need like onions for something. Or personally, I just love onions in general. So to like put them on top of my tacos or anything like that. Um, so it's just nice to have them already pre-cut. So that's something that I try to do. Not every time, but I typically try to do Try to have them in stock, diced, diced onions already. This is not technically fruit, but I did pick up applesauce for Hayden. She loves these little um, Mott's applesauces um, packets, so, or cups or whatever you call them. So I got her some of those. So I picked her up some fruit snacks. These are the Kellogg's fruity snacks. They usually get the um, Welch's. Um, but we just figured I would, I would just figured I'd try a different brand this time just to see how she liked these. So we got some of these. I also picked up some wheat bread just from the Great Value brand. Um, we don't use bread a whole bunch. Um, so it's always like a goal to use the whole thing of bread before it expires. Sometimes we do that, sometimes we don't. Um, but we've been eating bread more, more often lately. Um, especially since me and Hayden are home now. Um, full time, she doesn't go to daycare anymore. She just stays home with me. Um, so she's been having like a ham and cheese sandwich every, she, she wants this, I don't make this for her. She always like, she can make it herself and she loves to make herself a ham and cheese sandwich with a piece of bread. So um, yeah, we've been going through bread more often and we've been able to use the whole thing of bread. <laughs> so um, we got a loaf of bread. 
All right, I also picked up some cereal because we are running out. So Hayden loves cereal in the morning. If you have watched us or you have us on Instagram, anything like that, you know she has a bowl of cereal every single morning. Um, so she likes Fruit Loops. Um, she likes Reese Puffs. And we already have um, Captain Crunch in there. And then she actually picked up Honey Nut Cheerios when we were at Dollar General the other day. It's kind of funny because I was like, Honey Nut Cheerios, you don't like those. And she's like, yes, I do. So I was like, all right, you can get them. And she had them today and she ate the whole bowl. So clearly she likes them. But so I got um, two things of cereal. Also um, picked up this five pound bag of frozen boneless skinless chicken breast. Um, honestly, I used to hate um, making chicken. But ever since I started using my Instapot, it's so easy. And they always come out literally perfect every single time. So I used to try to make chicken breasts and like you know defrost them and add them into stuff and I could never get them cooked all the way through or it was just like a hassle I never knew if it was done all the way but if you have an instant pot you need to make your chicken breast in there you can just pop in the frozen chicken breast in there and it literally kicks, cooks it to perfection and it's awesome so I've been making a lot of dinners with chicken lately I also picked up this four pound bag of um, chicken drumsticks because like I said, with the Instant Pot, I've been making like chicken wings um, with like barbecue sauce or hot sauce, and we've been like making fries in the oven with it, and that's been a staple dinner for us lately, which in never in our life <laughs> has that ever been a staple dinner, but ever since the Instant Pot came about, or ever since I started using it, I was so intimidated at first, but ever since I started using it, I've been making drumsticks almost every week, and we love them. They're super, super good. All right, now for the cans. I just picked up two cans of crushed tomatoes with tomato puree. So it just looks like that because I'm always needing some type of tomatoes for something that I make and I always like don't have them. So I figured I'd stock up. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm gonna make with them yet, um, but I figured I would have them in my Lazy Susan. Picked up two cans of tomato paste. So I picked up some red um, enchilada sauce. I saw an enchilada um, recipe on on Pinterest, so I figured I would try that out. So I just got two cans of that for that recipe. I picked up just a can of the whole cor whole kernel sweet corn. Um, I use corn all the time, so I also got a can of evaporated milk. Um, I always think that I have evaporated milk, and I realize that it's condensed milk that I have in there. So I made sure to pick this up um, because some recipes that I've been wanting to make need this. So I made sure I picked up one of these this time. Also picked up three cans of um, Hunt's tomato sauce because this is also another thing that I always think I have and then I end up not having it and I either have to run Dollar General or just not make the recipe that day. Um, so I got three of these cans. So these two and then one more right here. I also picked up a Prego um, meat spaghetti sauce because we often have spaghetti with um, like garlic bread and stuff. So I needed to pick up another one of these. And then I picked up another um, Grand's Southern Homestyle Pillsbury biscuits. Um, I make biscuits and gravy, biscuits and gravy also. Um, I do have a video on how I make this, so I'll probably link it up here or somewhere. Um, I do like to cook a lot, it just depends if we have this stuff or if I've planned it out. <laughs> um, so it's nice to have like all this new food in our house now because I'm excited to make some new recipes. Um, I also picked up a two pack of cream cheese because I use cream cheese for so many things. Um, I make a lot of soups and I just made a cream cheese chicken chili and it's literally to die for like so good. I wish people in my family like soup because I make really good soup and I love soup. So um, what I'll do is make like a big pot in my Insta Pot, and I'll have that for lunch for like the whole week. Like it's so good. Um, so I always go through cream cheese. I also picked up this Eckridge um, smoked sausage. It's the skinless um, smoked sausage. We love sausage and potatoes, especially John. That's like one of his favorite. He makes it himself, honestly. Um, so typically I make dinner, but um, this is one thing that he just enjoys to make himself. I don't know why, but it's like his childhood favorite food. So um, we always have some of this. So picked up some tortillas. I was really upset because I was trying to figure out how big the tortilla shells were online. Um, that's the one thing about doing online Walmart pickup is sometimes the ounces you like 
click like order and you don't realize like how big they are or how small they are and so when you like pick it up you're like dang it I wanted something a lot smaller I wanted something a lot bigger and I'll show you another reason why in a few minutes when I show you how big this bag of cheese is that I got it's, it's huge <laughs> Um, but yeah, usually I get a lot bigger ones, but that's okay. This, this is totally fine. I'll make my enchiladas with this, our chi uh, chicken quesadillas, and then our regular tacos. So, and this will go a long way. There's 20 in here. These are the flour tortillas. Um, it says like fajita, but it's just smaller tortilla shells. All right. I also picked up some heavy whipping cream because I always need this for, um, if I'm making like broccoli cheese soup, if I'm making some type of pasta, um, it's kind of like half and half heavy whipping cream. So. I can use this um, pretty often. Picked up a new tub of butter. John loves the Country Crock um, original butter. Also picked up another thing of sour cream. This is just the Great Value brand, but I love sour cream on top of like my um, taco soups, chili, um, our tacos. I use sour cream so much. Um, I also picked up some new pasta. This is the Farfalli, Farfalli. Um, style it's like the bow tie noodles basically um i made a pasta dish with this the other week it was like a cheesy beefy pasta and it was really good um and i used this pasta so i just picked this up again and i picked up this sliced colby jack um colby and monterey jack cheese and um oh if you see this it's because i was in a wedding this past weekend i just realized that you guys could see this um my best friend got married this past weekend and um she her husband now um his name is jay and he is indian so henna is kind of like a part of their culture and so all the bridesmaids and her got a little bit of henna on their hand just to add in that little bit of a tradition and culture um so that's what that is i don't just have a random hand tattoo now <laughs> uh, but yes yeah, so i got this for um ham sandwiches um anything like that this bag of cheese this is not the big bag um, but this is just the finely shredded sharp cheddar cheese. I always use shredded cheese for so many different recipes. And this bag, I should have looked. It's a Fiesta blend. I thought this was going to be another, like, you know, half the size bag. No. It's two pounds. I should have looked, but I didn't. But it's okay. It'll be used. I love cheese, and we add it to everything. So, yeah, this is a ginormous bag of cheese. I got so much cheese, it's ridiculous. I just saw so many recipes with and that needed different types of cheeses. So I also lastly got a bag of mozzarella cheese. So I picked up some tartar sauce. I was making fish sticks yesterday and we were out and John loves using tartar sauce with fish sticks, which so do I, but I'm okay with just ketchup. But we didn't have any, so I picked up some tartar sauce so that we had that for next time. I picked up some Texas toast so we could have that um, with our spaghetti or lasagna or whatever type of like Italian dish I make. So picked up pizza rolls, Hayden loves pizza rolls. Um, well, we all love pizza rolls, but specifically Hayden. Um, so these are just the, I think they're just the pepperoni. Yeah, pepperoni pizza rolls from Tostino's. Um, I also picked up, this is a, we've been making, I've never made fries in the oven before because I just never thought they ever tasted good. And they're not like anything compared to like regular restaurant fries. Um, but I've been, it's been a really easy like side dish to make with food. So I've been picking up different brands of fries to see which we like best. So we tried Rally's and we tried like the Walmart brand crinkle fries. Those are pretty good. Um, and these are the Red Robin seasoned steak fries. So figured I would pick this up and try it out. So I'm excited to see how that tastes. Um, I picked up a new bag of fish sticks because we did use the rest of them yesterday. So now I have tartar sauce and fish sticks. So John, if you're watching, you're welcome. <laughs> um, but this is just the family 52 pack from Gorton's. Um, we'll see how that is. First time I've ever got this before and I'm really excited to make a dish with this. So it's the cheese tortellini pasta. Um, so I found like a recipe that has this in it um, and it looked really, really good. So I'm gonna make that soon. Also picked up a bag of, or it's a five pound bag, I believe, yeah. Five pound bag of russet potatoes. Um, we use potatoes a lot. I make homemade mashed potatoes. Um, and we make like potatoes and sausage. I love baked potatoes, especially in the Instant Pot. John doesn't really like baked potatoes. Um, but yeah, so we always use, we always get potatoes. 
Um, I also got just a gallon of whole milk. I also got just a bag of Lay's chips because we are running out of chips. So everything else is not food related. Um, well, I guess besides this, we like to use this sometimes if we don't want to like dirty dishes up or if we have um, friends over um, or like a, like a get together at our house. We just like to have like paper plates. Just depends. Um, so this is just the Dixie 150 plates. Um, I really like this brand and this type of plate. It's really heavy duty, but nothing like, it's not crazy expensive though. So I like that. I also picked up some new hairspray. I actually didn't read it very well because this is the ultra stronghold and the number four. I usually get like the number two or three. Um, but this is the Garnier Fructi style sleek and shine hairspray. Um, I love this one. Um, kind of the lighter strong lighter hold um because it doesn't make my hair crunchy whatsoever but it does hold the spray pretty well or hold the style pretty well um so i got that i also picked up a new brow pencil um this is the l'oreal brow stylist definer the brain the packaging is a lot different i haven't bought this in a while um because i just haven't ran out of the one that i have but it's in this shade dark blonde i absolutely love this this is my all-time favorite brow pencil um they're usually sold out of this shade so i was really surprised that um i got it because usually it says it actually asks like for a walmart pickup you get substitutes if it's not there um and i always decline the substitute because i only like dark blonde so picked up some toilet paper i should have got paper towels too but i forgot um, but we got the Charmin Ultra Soft um, toilet paper, so I need to go fill all the bathrooms with that. And then lastly, I just picked up some Gain fabric softener. We are almost out, so I figured I would grab some of that so that we don't run out and can't do the laundry. Um, and then lastly, I just got some Gain um, just laundry detergent. They actually didn't have online like the... the um, scent that i use i always use the um, moonlight breeze that's just what we've been using lately and they did not have a laundry detergent in that scent for some reason it was really weird so i wonder what this smells like i'm gonna actually smell it. mm, it's kind of hard to smell in this honestly but it'll be fine um it'll work you know it's whatever so this is the uh hawaiian aloha so Hopefully that smells good. It'll be fine. That is actually everything that I got from Walmart and I spent $171. So I think that's not too bad for all the stuff that I got. Um, I definitely got some more expensive items um, that we needed like laundry detergent, fabric softener, um, different stuff like that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already. Make sure you turn your uh, post notifications on so that you never miss one of my videos. I do upload every Monday and Thursday, every single week. And yeah, I do have all types of videos on my channel. Mama life, um, pregnant videos. Um, I am 33 weeks pregnant right now, so lots of pregnant videos. Um, vlogs, daily vlogs, so many videos. So hope you stick around, I hope you enjoy this channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.